uh, the my talk is using offline AI in smartphone by a semi-skilled worker and screen diabetic retinopathy. And this is not my talk, this is my work. So I have my co-authors, no financial interest. Diabetic retinopathy is one of the leading cause of blindness and we have 77 million diabetic, which is the second highest number of diabetics in the world. And the method and material, we have a pre-camp, camp information sent to the municipal dispensaries and medical officers. Counseling of all diabetic patients were done by the medical officer for diabetic retinopathy checkup. During camp, we have a written informed consent preliminary details such as age, sex, and uh, the pupils are uh, dilated, and then fundus imaging was done. Even though this has a technology where without dilatation we can do, but we wanted to have uh, the study. We use a 1% one, 1 uh, tropicamide, and at the end of 10 minutes, we could take a picture. The device is also equipped with an offline AI algorithm, which is the first of its kind. So my idea was to take the AI from this uh, offline AI, which is a uh, Online AI is available in many things like Microsoft, uh, the Google and others. And I took this offline AI and incorporated in the phone on fund, uh, funders on phone and then used it for a diag diagnosis. The skills learned by the participant would make them eligible to perform following activities. Describe diabetes, its various types. Describe the role of diabetic retinopathy social worker in the healthcare setting, explain the method of diabetic retinopathy screening and its importance, demonstrate the ability to use smartphone and capture funders image, demonstrate adequate skills essential in providing education to the diabetic or pre-diabetic patients on complications of diabetes, collect and communicate health information, apply principles of patient rights in various simulated situations, apply documentation, reporting, and follow-up activities to the patient, adopt professional appearance and a positive attitude, demonstrate professional behavior personal qualities and characteristic of a diabetic retinopathy screening worker. The person who has keen interest to serve the community at large. So this is what I have in mind and I have written to the Prime Minister and the Human Health Minister that any school dropout, community health worker or an ASHA worker in India, any common person has a basic knowledge of smartphone usage and uh, other people who can be trained, it could be a male or a female, should be willing to travel as needed to perform the duties given, should be willing to carry the smartphone funders camera and or any camera responsible for proper use and maintenance of the camera and the person should satisfactorily complete the training for use of the funders camera, whether it's a phone, 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 a mobile phone or any other kind. The salient feature of my project is first of its kind in the world using offline AI incorporated in a smartphone ABCD. Anybody can do diabetic retinopathy screening ideal for 6,47,740 villages and slums in India, most cost effective and can work without electricity and internet because we can charge the mobile phone and charge the infrared device as you see here. We dilate the patient with 1% tropicamide and we have trained this boy to do the photography where you can see the fundus photograph with the proliferative diabetic retinopathy and early diabetic retinopathy. The blue indicates the offline software has been, which is embedded in the phone is employed on the image and within 30 seconds you'll get an answer whether the patient can be referred or not. So this is the mobile phone which is attached to the infrared device. You can see the optic disc and the blood vessels clearly. So this image can be which will be there on the phone and when they when you get an internet it can be transferred to the image reading center or to an ophthalmologist this is a software which helps in the offline ai which applies the blue color thing which detects the abnormal color and thereby finds the patient whether it's referable uh, to an eye specialist or a non-referable that means background retinopathy which do not require treatment is not referred and proliferative diabetic retinopathy or a pre-proliferative with diabetic maxillary edema is picked up by the ai and sent to the ophthalmologist. And this is a, the blue color is about 29%, diabetic retinopathy detected, 32% uh, other conditions uh, could not be graded due to cataract, and 39% other eye condition. 2,241 diabetics were screened, and of these 506 subjects were detected to have various eye diseases. 147 were detected to have diabetic retinopathy by the offline AI, while 197 images could not be graded due to cataract, and 162 were detected with other eye condition. So this is an advantage. You can use a, a boy who's not an optometrist or a technician or a doctor who can find out whether the patient has cataract or diabetic retinopathy in, with this uh, te technology. The current study uses a public-private partnership between the uh, Bombay Municipal Corporation and the our foundation uh, partnership model for diabetic retinopathy screening 
to use the resources from both the uh, uh, sectors in the best possible way to increase the efficiency of screening by using the already existing government infrastructure uh, for, for diagnosing diabetes the diabetic population can be easily Dr. may i request you to sign the conclude in 30 seconds yes the results from the study showed that the model can be an ideal tool for community screening as it does not require the presence of ophthalmologist at the screening site the ophthalmologist can view the images from his or her office to diagnose retinopathy and reports conveyed to the patient to conclude the ai gives real time presumptive diagnosis first of its kind and it's a cost effective model and the we can uh, uh, easily integrate into the national program for control of non communicable diseases making diabetic retinopathy screening accessible to all very good tool that can be of use during covid times also thank you very much thank you dr natarajan uh, dr mohan rajan could you lead the questions uh, first of all my compliments to dr natarajan because because i have seen this working this is really a fantastic innovation because offline is very very necessary especially when you go on to the rural areas wherein the internet connectivity is not so good and that is the reason why i think this is going to be a very uh, in my opinion a game changer and is already a game changer not uh, i just want to know what is the sensitivity and the specificity of this particular thing okay, when compared a, to the online yeah for 100% uh, Uh, sorry for a diabetic retinopathy the referral it is 100% and sensitivity is about 88% the and when even when the images are not uh, clear but still the 100% uh, referable diabetic retinopathy is 100% sensitive and that's what we have published yeah, have we compared this with the online yes. compared to this yeah, with the online compared. yeah we have done a preliminary study with the 256 patient and now with the 2000 patients we have compared with both with the Uh, the mobile phone and the size uh, regular camera okay and um, as an extension of this uh, study you can do even for glaucoma because you are yes. able to get a good uh, uh, this thing of the view of the disc as well so the glaucoma screening also can be done offline correct and uh, similar to using the artificial intelligence as well so that correct. is one session yes. yeah. hey, you are right yeah, i is sp- stuck to the topic of only offline dr screening yeah fantastic Thank you. Congrats, Natarajan. It is fixed to the camera that it is attached. So uh, you would need a. I mean, the whole camera system has to be moved for the screening. Yes, we actually have a box which we carry it in a motor bike, where we the mobile phone, the infrared device, and the, we also I specifically instructed my people even though you can hold it in the handheld, but I have a strict lamp attachment so that the observer and the patient can be stable. so that there the chin there the chin rest as well as the uh, the forehead rest which your patient can uh, it's, a, it's a portable it's a portable uh, remedio yeah. camera okay yes, yes. and uh, no, i could see the, the problem but i wanted like it yeah, can be handled also yeah the rohit it can be handled yeah. also the problem is the handheld you have to keep it on the Steady. um uh, on forehead. the uh, what do you call forehead, forehead. and yeah. you don't get proper images Good so point. you don't get the proper images sure. and uh, sure. better to put it on